All right, fellas, let's get into this first video. Uh, let's get into this video here. Um, dude, somebody sent this to me the other day, and I was like mind blown by this. It says, uh, I could have been a predator. That R. Kelly energy is different and all consuming. All right, well, you know, that's a uh, self report right here, but let's see what he has to say because I just don't understand what you could possibly say. But hey, I don't know. Let's, let's see what we got here. What's going on, gentlemen? We're just slow Tonight as fuck. is a moment for self-reflection. Okay. Matter of fact, let's shed a little light on this subject. Holy I could have been a predator. Shit. Thank you so much for the subliminal. I'm going to turn myself I am down. a little sympathetic to R. Kelly. I know that sounds really, really crazy, but hear me out. I guess I need to start with what I've done. When I was doing my Craigslist protocols, hot and heavy, I would get a ton, I mean, a ton of high school girls answering my ads. What? And typically, I ignored them. Well, because wait, even so though I have. I, I didn't understand. What is he? He was doing a Craigslist thing? A ton, hot and heavy. When I was doing my Craigslist protocols, hot and heavy. I'm assuming that's something, some kind of adult thing. I would get a ton, I mean a ton of high school girls answering my ads. And typically, okay. I ignored them. Why typically? Because Why always? even though I have a similar appetite to R. Kelly, I like young women, but I don't like children. Okay. But this is how a child tricked me. Typically, they would be young. There would, there would be lots I... of fun. I uh, I don't know what to say here. I just don't know what we're, what's happening, right? Here's how a child... Okay, so this is my understanding. This is a guy who said he was running some kind of adult thing on Craigslist. And he likes young girls. Uh, but not children, which is like a... I don't know, like, what's children to you? I don't know. Like, do you do you think that sixteen is just a younger girl, and then like a fifteen year old is a child, or do you subscribe to typical age of consent? I think an older man trying to sleep with eighteen year olds is still weird. But I feel like if you're dating, if you're doing this weird thing on Craigslist, wouldn't you just like ask for ID or something? It's just, I'm just not, I'm not really, a, a pre, I don't really like the vibes that we're getting here. The vibe that I'm getting here is like a child tricked me. Um, like if, if it's in the context of like, oh, home alone, you know, the home alone, that kid tricked people, but he did it with like spider webs and knickknacks and, you know, bouncy balls. <laughs> anyway, let's keep this going that this girl was very very young and i would just ignore him apparently this is his uh full channel um okay the corporate citizen um uh, all right let's just keep going then this one girl she answered that we started to talk and she was an exceptionally mature 17 year old no nope <laughs> Bro, you like oh, this is ridiculous. Like you, you can be a mature, younger person, but like of course, you know. Usually, maybe I don't know. Your parents will tell you, oh, you're or or someone else's parents or grandma will be like, oh, you're a mature, mature for your, not somebody who wants to fuck that person. I feel like saying that a young person is exceptionally mature when it comes to a physical interaction like this is you just justifying it. It's like, well, mentally, I feel 25, and mentally, that 17-year-old felt also 20, 30, actually. So, really, I'm, they're the ones date, uh, predatorizing me, you know? Especially with the with the introduction of, like, I could have been a predator. Like, what? Normally, people that were like, oh, I almost accidentally slept with somebody that wasn't of the age are like, ah, I fucked up, but I'm not a predator. This guy's like, I could have been one. So, there seemed, I don't know, the framing of his own story leads me to suggest... It's very, very bizarre shit. All right, anyway. Let me say this again. This chick was 17. Yes, we got Her that. Her conversation was different. She actually was a hairdresser. Okay. And she answered my ad. And I fucked her. 
And you know, and nowhere in that timeline did I hear I asked for her identification. Oh my god, she had these amazingly firm no. double D titties. Dude, what are we doing? This I feel like maybe you are maybe you you I don't think I would have titled this I could have been a predator. <laughs> it's a title that I probably I think I might need to see a therapist and go to jail. This is insane. Like, what are you talking about? Like, not so not only did he sleep with this girl, but now he's like, yeah, and she was so hot, like doubling down. Like, yeah, I slept with her and she was really attractive. She had big boobies. I would feel this. I would throw up if I somehow got in this situation, which I wouldn't because I have a fiance. Um, I would throw up afterwards. <laughs> like, I would feel sick to my stomach. We're only two minutes into this. Let's. I got to keep this going. That should have been my clue, because when she would lay on her back, they would stand up, and they were not fake titties. That should have been my clue, but you know, I was caught up in the delicious pussy, and she did everything I wanted her to do. Okay, this is then, a really good. Uh, one of the things self, that I, I would do is I would do social media search on all my chicks just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. So I'm like doing my social media search, and I find her Facebook page, mm -hmm. and I see her with her high school friends. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I call her up and I ask her because, you know. So let's let's just let's just make sure we put this in the right order. This is somebody who is either looking to make some kind of adult content or sleep with people on Craigslist. Right. We don't know which one. I, it sounded like he makes adult content, but maybe I'm wrong about that. So he finds girls on the Internet. Then he sleeps with them and then he checks their age. Why didn't you do the other part first? Why wouldn't you ask for her ID and check her socials to make sure that she was of age first? But it's not even like one of those miraculous scenarios where she had a fake ID and a fake Facebook page where she said she was 24. She, everything's out there. The Google, she he could have just been like, oh, what's your name? Oh, fucking blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, I can't fuck you. But I feel like not asking for these things is especially when you have a habit of doing it at a particular time, right? He specifically asks, he specifically looks these people up, but he waits till after. Why? What's your motivation for waiting until after? What's the point? There doesn't seem to be one. She told me she was 21. That's what she told me. And Who I was cares? Like, Serious question. And at this time, I had fucked. Did you ID her? This chick 10, 15 times. Oh my God. Dude, this, how does this keep getting worse? So, ten to fifteen times, dude. This this guy, this is horrible. This isn't like it somehow keeps getting worse. It wasn't just one time, and then I looked after. That's already really bad. Fifteen times, hey, it did fifteen times. Then I was like, you know what? Let me look up her age, bro. And you cannot unfuck a chick. You can't unfuck her. No, but you can. Ask for age before you fuck her. Check that out. It's a really crazy idea. And I was like, I need to tell or you. Or you should confer confirm it. Like, this isn't like a fucking 25-year-old who took a 17-year-old's word that they were like 20 years old. It's still bad. This is a grown-ass man who's like finished developing. Like, this is a grown fucking man. Like, I'm 30. Like, you don't get the excuse. Well, 25 is even too old. But, like, it's not like, I don't know, he was fucking 22 or something. And he's like, well, how old are you? They're like, oh, I'm 18. They're like, all right, fuck it. I would expect a dumb 22-year-old to do stupid shit like that, even if they're in the wrong. I, like, I would expect a dumb kid to be stupid. But this guy has to be, like, 40 or 30, 40 years old. This is, there's no excuse to, at all. What is this? is ridiculous. Um, how old are you? And then she got very silent, and she said... I'll be 18 in four months. And I was like, all right, let's fuck again. Like, what's what's going to happen then next? She also make it said worse. the age of consent in Georgia is 16, so you're good. <sighs> Who cares? It's so gross. And I'm like, <sighs> so she comes over and we have this conversation. Wait, no. Why, wait, wait, no. This doesn't. No. I don't. Wait, what do you mean she comes over? It's, it's getting worse. So once you find out, you should be like, done. What? Done. I fucked up. Done. But he's like, yeah, then I invited her over. For what reason? There's no reason to have a mature conversation about her lying about her age. You just move on. This just suggests that he was like still open to it. He's like, yeah, but I like fucking her. This is not good. Because she was everything that I liked. See? I like women who 5'3". She was 5'2". She had huge titties, little waist, fat ass, pretty toes. She was my prototype. Even though she was extremely young. 
And you know what I kept doing? I kept fucking her. I kept fucking her because I was like, at this point, I fucked her 15 times. And it was just like... Hey, well, once you fuck her 18 times, she's age of consent. So might as well just do another three. Am I right? The crime was done. So I just kept fucking her from she was 17 to 22. <laughs> Just five years, he just fucked her for five whole years. <sighs> and R. Kelly and I are similar, but we're very different. Uh, because I have safeguards. I know when I'm getting out of control. I, I know when I'm, I feel like you don't. I'm getting you out of control. Did get out of control. And I kind of anal you know, ran analysis on this. Oh yeah. And um she was old. I, I hope someone else does in like a forensics lab as well, so we can <laughs> fucking arrest this guy. Older, her parents weren't breathing down her neck, and this is how a lot of young girls oh end god. up with older dudes. Their parents are not heavily involved. Oh in their my lives. god, dude, this is no. Dude, how do you fuck up? So like, he just is. He was. He's. His basically, he's blaming the parents for not being in. The, now listen, of course, your parents should be in your life more, but like, you're just blaming this kid for you fucking a kid. I don't understand. Like, how is your whole entire frame of thought? Like, yeah, you know, well, you know, it's kind of her parents' fault because they weren't super involved. Like, what? Where? Where is you as a responsible adult? Why aren't you like a blaming party? This is really get away with this stuff. And her parents oh didn't God. check her. She go out. She spend the night out. Her parents were like, you know, she came home alive. Cool. Her parents were not on her, so I didn't yeah, have you to worry were. about catching a charge from the parents. And once again, bro, oh my God, dude, you literally, see, this is even more self-incriminating. You're literally like telling us that you knew it was wrong and that the parents could fucking sue you or whatever and get you arrested, but they were so shitty they didn't. So you just kept going. What the fuck? Yeah, we just kept doing our thing from 17 to 22. I fucked this chick for five years and I ain't ashamed at it at all. She was willing. She wanted it. And here we come to. R. Kelly. R. Kelly is being portrayed as a predator. Yeah. Right? Yes. Um. Yeah. Did he hold a gun to these women's heads? You're fucking so dumb. Oh my god. Uh. So, like, my understanding is R. Kelly like pissed on a girl, like a fourteen-year-old. Ah. Uh. Okay, so let's just kind of read through this. All right, so when he was 27, 15-year-old uh, singer, let's see, at a secret ceremony, blah, 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 lied about her age, uh, the marriage was at, oh, they had a marriage? What the fuck? That's really weird. Uh, sued for emotional distress, sued for interns, accused of him introducing her into it. Okay, so he seems to have a pattern of, like, these are all <laughs> of him talking to underage girls, right? First, her 21 counts of making child sex abuse videos involves various sexual acts. Okay. Okay, so this just seems like he has a pattern of getting people under the age of consent to have sexual engagements with him. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that's bad. So, I mean, I already knew. I just wanted to make sure, right? So he has a pattern of getting underage girls to engage with him sexually. So... I don't even know how why I have to explain this, but this guy is talking. There's a there is a difference between willingness and consent, right? A 15 year old theoretically could willingly engage with a 25 year old, but they can't consensually engage with a 25 year old, right? So there's no consent as a 25 year old. Well, in his case, like a 40 year old, whatever the fuck he is, you're the party that needs to be responsible because you've hit maturity. So you need to be responsible and understanding of the law and not sexually engage with people. Right? The willingness of the kid doesn't make it better. I mean, it only makes it better in the sense that you didn't unwillingly have sex with them because that would be like hard line, like violent assault. But it's still... It's still... Like it's still illegal. It's still a form of sexual assault. You're still you're still taking advantage of that person. So like this whole willing, like oh hey, look, you know that seven year old willingly did it. Like what? Like where? What is he talking about? We have age of consent for reason. This guy for real fucking live streamed this. Nobody looked at it, but what the fuck? Years and years ago, oh back God. before the internet, 
I saw the R. Kelly tape. If you remember, there was a VHS you probably jerked tape off that was to it, sold huh? around in barbershops, and it was him. It was him. He was peeing on this girl. He was having sex with this. It was 100% him. Wow. And this is where R. Kelly went wrong. Where did R. He go Kelly wrong? was a good looking man. R. Kelly had fame. R. Kelly was rich and he was reckless. See, he has that appetite. And I'm going to try to explain. I mean, this is just rape apologist rhetoric. I'm just, I don't understand. Like, everything that you're, you literally just said that, like, it was okay to do what he did, but he got caught. I mean, what, what is happening here? Explain this appetite to you guys who don't have this appetite because the normal man also why were people going around selling this video of r kelly fucking assaulting a child and like he's like yeah he was looking good that means this guy watched the video and probably jerked off to it holy fuck doesn't have this appetite but oh my God. there is something special about fucking a young girl who's not doesn't have a lot of miles on her she doesn't have a lot of experience I remember this chick, she was 22. And I, she did, I just don't know what to say anymore. Did not have a lot of sexual experience when we started messing around. When, and when I pulled out 17. my dick and she was like, you think that's going to fit? So I knew that this girl had not had a lot of sexual experience. Why? Do you have a small dick? Like, I just don't understand. And there is something special about fucking a chick who doesn't have a lot of sexual experience. Because everything you do to her is fun. It's all brand new. The, the, you can you, Hot take. You can have sex with somebody with not a lot of sexual experience that isn't underage. I, I just don't know what to say. You find an 18... Well, you're old, but find an 18-year-old, for instance. 20-year-old. There are people who don't have sex till they're in their 20s. Like It's not that uncommon. I just don't know how he keeps getting making this worse. It's, we're seven minutes in. And if you've got that type of appetite... It can be insatiable. Mon like, R. Kelly could have had the baddest adult chicks he wanted. Yeah, that's why it makes it worse. He was specifically targeting younger girls. But R. Kelly had that appetite. Who cares? And his appetite could be the downfall of many, many men. Because, you know, <clears throat> I'm not judging because I'm in a part of the kinky community. This isn't a kink. This is child molestation. I just don't understand. But R. Kelly allowed his appetite to literally wreck his life. Because once you get into orchestrating a trafficking syndicate, what does this mean? R. Kelly was having other people find and vet girls for him. And that's when it got out of control. This is the reason that I never got caught because I never brought anyone else into my circus so dude this is just like i mean what is this are we supposed to take notes like oh how can i uh, how can i assault a child oh good notes what are we supposed to do here this is horrible this guy's a fucking moron like listen i thought i was when i saw the title i'm sitting here and i'm like maybe this guy was saying that because the only way this could be a positive is, is if this guy was like oh uh, I realized that her urges to talk to younger girls under age, so I went to a therapist before I hurt somebody. And I'd say, okay, I can I can understand that, right? Nobody chooses to be attracted to young people, but you do make the choice whether to go and see a therapist or not. I mean, this guy's driving a nice car, nice fucking red seats, whatever. That was it. But he should like the I could have been a predator. My brother, you are a predator. <laughs> like this isn't. This, you are a predator. I, like, I thought this was going to be like, a, oh, I'm a pedophile, but I went to the therapist and I managed it before I hurt a child. <clears throat> this is called, I could have been a predator. The R. Kelly energy is different and all-consuming. Dude, you are a predator. The fuck's wrong with you? Let's speak. When I was doing, it was just me and the girls. Never, ever brought anyone else in the circus. In this, but he, here's my problem. He's being portrayed as a predator, right? Yes. Here's the Rightfully thing. so. Remember when I started this video and I told you I had all these high school girls answering my Craigslist ads? Did I have a gun to their head? Did I ask them I to mean, answer? Somebody very clearly needs to put a gun to your fucking head because you were just so dumb. So, reply to my ads. They were searching this out. So this is why I have a problem with oh the predator label. Well, because they were willing participants in the dynamic. I, I can tell you, 
I remember this one girl who answered my ad and she was 15 years old. Oh my God, dude. 15 years old. We were talking and stuff. And I like, I knew I was never going to meet this chick. I was just talk to her. Wait, but this is, this is, it's getting worse. Hey, I, I talked, I, there's a 15 year old who went onto my Craigslist ad about fucking her. And I, I found out she was 15 and I kept talking to her. You're just an irresponsible fuck. I hope that you don't have kids. You're a terrible, horrible, shit, worthless person. And she sent me dirty pictures. She was... Oh my god, dude, this guy needs to get arrested. I mean, like, wh what is... He, he got pictures from a 15-year-old girl, and he was looking at them. This is, Dude, this guy is fucking insane. This is insane, bro. What the fuck? running a hundred miles an hour in that direction and i'm quite sure that she's running a i'll just talk to her and she sent me dirty pictures she was running a hundred miles an hour in that direction and i'm quite sure that she hooked up with some older man bro you i'm sitting here and i'm like did this this guy i feel like this guy knew this girl's age before he fucked her the 17 year old based on what he he, he doesn't even care about talking to 15 year olds you should be disgusted Hear of girls who are 15, 16, 17 year old hooking up with 30, 40 year old men. Yeah, it's the men's fault. But does, do we, where there's no blurred line here. Like, this isn't, this isn't the child's fault. What are you talking about? It's your fault. You even knew their age. You don't even have the, I didn't know their age bullshit line. You knew, you knew her age and you were sexting with her. There's no way she was just sending pictures. He's like, oh, you, stop it. If that's still bad. Well, you sexting, I mean, you sexted with a 15 year old girl. You know how common that is? Let me tell you something that No. Happened. And it's kind of out there. This whole thing's been out there. So I can't I imagine what you're going to say. And I had this woman who was a mother. And she was like, are you a black bull? And I was just like, yes, I am. And she says, I have two daughters. And I want to properly train them. I want you, you know, in, in the future, we may actually breed them. See, if you guys don't know, there's a whole, uh, the sexual underground, sexual underground, shout out to Ron Wills. There's a whole sexual underground of white women who love having sex with black dudes. Who cares? That's not what just happened. Dude, this guy needs to be in jail. This isn't a sexual underground. This guy literally is, is talking about how he met a mom that wanted him to molest her children. And he was like totally chill with it. Pff, dude, Jesus Christ. This guy is, a, is literally the worst. This is probably the worst predator I've ever seen on the internet. Like, this is horrible. And they really love having sex with black dudes with big dicks. And... Once again, you will see. Who cares? So she, she, Adults can do what they want. She, uh, you know, and I was sitting there like, this can't be real. So she sends me photos of her daughters who are 16 and 17. Dude, they all need to be. He, they, he, him and those and that, that mom need to be put in jail for like fucking life. And they're pretty frisky looking. Dude. So I play along. Bro. Oh so I go God. to her house. And the mom was hot. And I, I have a conversation with her. And I was like, so what do you want to do? And she says, it is the white woman's place to be the sexual fuck toy of the black man. I don't give a fuck what the consenting adult wants to do with you. It's the children. And I was like, really? And she said, yes. Then, you know what I told this woman? She was about 40-ish, 45, 46, blonde, green-eyed. Nice, nice rack on her. And I said, bitch, get on your knees. I don't care. And you know what she did? She got on her knees. Wow, great. And I took my dick out and I fucked her throat. I don't care. And I was like, now this is what's funny. Her daughters were in the room. Why is this funny to you? What do these comments look like? This person, this guy is a sexual predator. He needs to be put in jail. Let me say that again. Her daughters were in the room. Yeah, so were you. So I fucked her throat. Then I told her to stand up. Like her mom's a worthless fucking pile of shit. You're a worthless pile of shit. 
her kids are being groomed to fuck like older men. Like what is happening? And you're complicit in that grooming. Then strip butt naked. And then I fucked her on the sofa. And her daughters were on the sofa watching the whole thing. And she was like, this is how you take that big black dick, girls. This is how you do it. And I'm just sitting there like, is this fucking real? So I'm fucking the mom. Then the mom's like, come over here. And she calls the girls names. And then she's like, get on your knees. And then she put my dick in her daughter's mouth. Dude, this is making me like really mad. I mean, I almost nutted. It was like, because if you're kinky, this is like the epitome. This is the high level of kinkiness. And then she had the other daughter come over and suck my dick. And then essentially. So this isn't kinky. This is rape. This is fucking disgusting. I was fucking all three of them for about five or six years. I would go over. I would have the mom. And I would have them greet me butt ass naked. Yeah, this, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. When people say predator, I'm like. I'm trying to give you guys the other side of the dynamic. I'm yeah, you're trying to tell us, you as a predator, why you think it's okay to do shit like this. Like you're a predator. You're a child predator. You're a rapist. You're a bad person. You need to be in jail. You probably, you need worse than jail. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm trying to give you the other side of what's out there. And I personally don't think these girls were victims. You don't think that two girls that had a mom force them to watch her have sex with somebody are victims. Dude, I don't like what this is fucking insane. I don't think these girls were. I don't think R. Kelly's a predator. He has. Dude, you are such. Dude, I just like what What am I allowed to say? Like you like I what am I even allowed to say on my own fucking channel without losing my fucking platform? Like you need to not exist anymore in the most uncomfortable way possible like what can i even say this is disgusting an appetite and i feel that he allowed his appetite to get in the way of his life so he's guilty of having an appetite but i don't think he's a predator because when you go out and you get a young girl and you ask her to I have mean, you need to be dead i mean that's what i'm trying to say you should be dead like this is insane this is insane sex and she does it without a gun to her head. Like, I this whole this whole situation with the mom and the two daughters. Like I didn't have this whole on lack of understanding of consent goes to like this a fucking exponential level. Like how fucking stupid you are. I have to do nothing except show up with a hard dick. That's all I had to do was just show up, and they would service me. I remember one Sunday I fucked all three of them. I fucked the mom. I fucked the daughters, and the youngest one was really really fucking tight. And their mom was like, yeah, we got to open up that pussy. And I mean, I was just sitting there fucking her. And the mom was like, yeah, that's it. Take that dick. Take that dick. And in the beginning, both of the girls were virgins. I took their virginity. And the young one, in the beginning, it used to hurt her. And she was like, it hurts, mom. It hurts. Dude, it's like, what is happening here? He's describing a rape in the fucking like, real time. That's such a big dick. It hurts. And then after a few times and I loosened up that pussy, then she started getting into it. Then she wow. So she was, oh, wow. So she wasn't into it at first and then she got into it. Wow. You know what they call it? It's called rape. But she's also a child. So it's raping a child. This is insane. Dude. She turned to this day. This girl is a bona fide black cock slut freak. Who wow. She's a victim of rape. You raped her violently. Whoever she's fucking right now is very happy. Very, very happy. So. Once again, I don't believe R. Kelly's a predator. Dude, I don't want to watch this anymore, but like, I have to finish the video. You guys should just leave the stream, honestly, because this is fucking disgusting. I think he has an appetite that got him in trouble because he could not control. Because here's the thing. And I forget the billionaire who was running the sexual trafficking. Uh, I forget his name. I can see him. He was a blonde, white guy. He had that same appetite. Now Dude, stop using the word appetite in place of being a pedophile. This is your pedophile. Now, I... Fuck this, that young girl, 17 year old, the mom and her daughters. You fucked a 15 year old and a 16 year old and a 17 year old. And you sexed with another 15 year old based on what you've told us so far. And that was, you know, and there was a few more, but I did not. There's a few more? Or hunt 
or subscribe to those young girls. You didn't look, dude. That doesn't. There's absolutely no way you didn't look for them. The all of the women I've ever slept with have been like chubby girls. Because want to know why I attract chubby girls? Because I'm looking for chubby girls. You're looking for children to rape. That's what you're doing. You're a rapist. You're a pedophile. I perfectly. My perfect uh, age range was, was like 24 to about 34. No, it wasn't. You're fucking 15-year-olds. That was where I operated quite a bit. But I'm here to go. I'm here. Dude, there's 398 likes on this video. That's 398 fucking rapists and pedophiles that like this video. I to tell you that, especially with the billionaire, these girls would go out and recruit girls, and they were adults. They were 100% aware of what they're doing. They were like... I am going to get this girl so she can have sex with this old billionaire. She knew there was no gun in her head, and they were stuffing her so palms with cash. How is she a victim? Dude, what How is, is he a predator? And this is one of the things... This video's been up for nine days. This stupid fuck put it up for nine days. That, um, like, I could be considered a predator because I've had a lot of sex with a lot of the women. No, you're not, a, you're not considered a predator. You are a predator, pedophile, rapist. This isn't a like. This is just who you are as a person. There, it's not. It's isn't like a debatable topic. You are a rapist. You are a pedophile. Um, you are a predator. You are the worst predator I've ever seen, ever. And you're you're defending it. You're not even ashamed of yourself. This is fucking insane. I could be considered a womanizer because no, I like slinging a... the dick. So see, this is his Instagram right here. Uh, this is so. This is apparently he has another channel called the Corporate Citizen. We showed this at the beginning of the stream, right? Click on a random. And you don't see yeah. a measurable impact. That's who. Yeah, it is. That's him. You can go to his about. He's got BS school for hustlers. This is dumb fuck self help bullshit guru nonsense. Um, assuming that's how it teaches you to rate women. This is his Instagram page. Business consultant. This guy is a fucking predator. Um, this guy has a lot of money. He probably uses that money to prey on children. Uh, let's see. He's got a link tree. The corporate papers, how to use the law to get rich and pay less taxes, a financing community, digital money, Lost Kings YouTube. No, I don't want to subscribe to his fucking worthless channel. <sighs> Holy fuck, the money lab. This is the corporate citizen, and then I don't know what this is. This is just a bunch of shit. Oh, this is like fucking some kind of porn site. That he runs. Um, disruptive mail. Okay, great. Guys. Yeah, you know, so this is his name. It's Savage Finance. He's from Georgia, I'm assuming, because this is his license plate here. Um, okay, very good. That was a nice find. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Oh, here's here is all the information I imagine you would need to know if you look through here. This is this is his own. He's, he has it on his own fucking Instagram. Um, the personal account is fully funded. Sandy Springs, Georgia. Okay. Um, okay. Scroll up to where. Here's his name. Glendon Cameron. Main Street Treasure. Stone Mountain, Georgia. He's a buyer. He started his business in 2001. I believe you. I believe. And once you start a business, it's not always it's an asset. Even if you're blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Okay. So we got a good amount of information about this uh, rapist, predator, pedophile. Um... Yeah, cool. Just want to just just curious. I mean, he put it on his own fucking thing. This is all over his own his own con his own content. Okay, let's finish this horrible fucking dog show oh, video. R. Kelly, he went too far. He brought other people in. He had an organization. 
They probably got him for trafficking and all this other stuff. I never went nowhere near that level. I never had anyone go out and find girls for me. Never did that. I did all my own work. And this is one of the reasons I never got in trouble. I remember the mother and the two daughters. And one Saturday, I go over there and the mother and the oldest one are out. And just a young one, right? Dude. So I'm talking to her and everything. And next thing you know, I, start, I take her titties out, start sucking on her titties and stuff. And I fuck her. And this is the first time I fucked her and she came. And it blew her mind. It blew her mind. So I understand R. Kelly on a deeper level. And once again, did he commit these crimes? I would say, yes, he had sex with young women. I would say these young women were complicit. I find it incredible that this guy is like, I had, he had sex with young women. He had sex with underage girls. These aren't women. These are children. He had sex with children. You had sex with children. You're a rapist. You are a pedophile. You're a predator. You need to go to jail. Cameron, right? That's your name? Just make sure, right? Yeah. Uh, fuck, this is dumb bullshit. Yeah, Glendon Cameron. I don't know which one's the first name. They were willing because he was R. Kelly. I'm here to tell you wow. guys, it is not that hard for an older man to get a very young girl. It's not that hard at all. There are many girls out there who are looking for older men. Who cares? It doesn't, looking, it doesn't matter. Searching. It doesn't make it right. Hunting for older men. And they're 14, 15, 16. And they have no problem taking the dick from a 25, 35, or even a 45-year-old man. None whatsoever. And part of this is, if R. Kelly wasn't R. Kelly, I don't think none of this would have went down. I feel that R. Kelly pissed off the wrong person. I don't know what he did, but he pissed off the wrong person. You don't know what he did? I don't know. Maybe the parents were like, hey, you're raping my daughter. I don't like that. Like, this is fucking mind-blowing. And that launched this investigation because I saw this tape of R. Kelly pissing on this girl in 2000. It was like 2000, maybe 2002. I saw this tape. It was him. It was him. This guy, he's and admitting that he's he watched had, fucking, he watched this like porn to him. Like he was jerking off to it. This appetite since Aaliyah. And I personally don't think there's anything wrong with older guys liking younger girls. Because at the time. No, it's okay for older men to like younger women, I mean, women, you know, women that are over the age of consent. Yeah, that's fine, right? That's okay. As long as they meet the age of consent. You raped a 15-year-old girl. You told this, why, how is this, how has nothing happened? Um, he was with guy. Aaliyah, I think he was 21 and she was 16. To me, that's not a really big difference. It's but not good Kelly. at all, but like, I'm not even, like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, what the fuck? He had that, that appetite. He had that appetite. Dude, you And that appetite alive. can ruin you. Oh I have somewhat of an appetite, but I have limits. No, There's you don't. There's just certain things I'm not going to do. Oh, yeah, what's There's the limit? Certain... What is the limit? Like, 14 years old? That's the limit? Uh, well, as long as she's over 14. That's your limit, I'm assuming, because you fucked 15 year Well, you raped a 15 year old girl. Boundaries I'm not going to cross. And essentially, I conducted my fuckery in the safe zone. I did stuff I knew I could get away with. I that's did not, not a go safe out. zone. That's, that's you doing an illegal thing. And, dude. Like, there was this one girl, and uh, she was super cute. And then Wait, how old I did a, my research on her and saw her pictures of her with her mom and dad, which means her parents were very much involved in her life. And that right there would have been the danger zone, because bro, this guy is seriously. This is at this point, this guy is just giving us a fucking playbook. He's admitting he's a predator. Do you hear what he's saying? He's saying that he specifically preys on girls whose parents aren't involved in their life, so that he can get away with raping these girls. That's what he's saying. That is his entire line of logic. Hey. I uh I, I make sure that their parent that they have really shitty parents that didn't raise them to protect themselves so that I can rape them and they think it's okay. This is this is a fucking predator play, bro. Play, bro. God, this is a fucking predator's playbook. Uh, this is how it happens. She comes over, we fuck. She goes home. Her mom and dad press her. He's like, I fucked this old man, 
And next thing you know, mom and dad call the police. Yeah, that's something they should do. Police knocking at your door. That's how that goes down. How so is this I never not, put myself how in the crosshairs of the danger zone. And I, and it really wasn't in comparison to the number of women. It wasn't a lot. But I can tell you, young pussy can be fucking amazing. Dude. When you stick your dick in some pussy that ain't never had a dick in it before, whoo! It's so tight, it's so warm, it's so snug. And I feel that the R. Kelly's, and once again, this white billionaire, put his name in the comments because I know y'all going to Google him. And um, I feel that as a man, you have to know what you can get away with and what you can do and what you can't. And once again, I feel that R. Kelly pissed someone off. Because hey, guys, it's okay to break the law and rape children as long as you know how to get away with it. If R. Kelly was just Robert, the truck driver, it never, even if he did all of these things, he would have never went to jail. Never would have happened because he was R. Kelly. There was something he did. There was someone in power he pissed off. And that's why, because the thing is, they went after him for years and years and years. They were after him like a dog on a bone. They were after him. And there was a reason they were after him because what R. Kelly did happens every damn day. Right now, there's some old dude fucking a teenager. That should be, that should be, that sentence should enrage you. Yeah, this stuff's happening every day and it's not right. The goal should be to reduce it and, you know, eliminate what's happening. But this guy's just like, no, we should increase it as long as you get away with it. Dude, what the fuck? Right now, right now, there is some old dude sliding the sausage up in some young pussy right now. This is how calm it is. It is a common thing in America. And don't even talk about the rest of the world. The rest of the world, hands up, just let that go. But if I had allowed my appetite to get out of hand, I could have been in trouble. And I consciously knew what I was doing. And I consciously, I got like yeah. the sixth sense, right? That lets me know when something's not cool is about to happen. And there was just certain chicks who would answer and they were tasty. They were beautiful. They would send me photos of their titties and their pussy and all this other stuff. And I was just like, nope, not that one. That's the danger zone. That is the danger zone. That is the danger zone. That is the danger zone. And I never mess with those chicks. If a girl was young and she was halfway close to her parents, you could be looking at jail time because what they're going to do, like when they're with you, they're going to they're going to fold. They're going to take the dick. They're going to do all this and stuff. And when mom and dad start putting the heat on them, they're going to fold like a cheap sheet. And they're like, and this is what we did. And the next thing you know, mom and dad are calling 911. Because some man, some old man defiled their young daughter. Well, no, an old man raped their child. Like, that's what we're talking about. You're a rapist. Some old man put his mature penis up in her immature pussy. And we can't have that. We can't have that. So you cannot be messing with... I just, I, how are you saying this sarcastically? Like, we can't have that, like, in the sarcastic tone. No, we can't have, we cannot have that. Like, why is it an I ironic to you? I just don't understand. Girls who have intensive parent parental contact. You, you can't be messing with them. And I feel, now, once again, there are so many girls out here. You know, like, these pimps? These girls are looking for a daddy. And these pimps serve as a daddy figure. This I mean, you're literally just explaining to us the abusive relationship between older men and younger women and like pimps and like whatever prostitutes, I guess you'd call them uh, the victims in the, their own right. People who don't have strong parental figures that are allowing older men to prey on them like yourself, like multiple irresponsible parties, failing young women. And I'm sure men as well, young girls, young children, the parental figures, figures of authority failing them emphatically, whether it's their parents or it's fucking old scum pieces of shit like you. That's what you're describing. You're describing a literal victim in a way where you're just like, yeah, well, they're a victim, but hey, like, they, yeah, they, I mean, they were failed in every facet of their life, and you're just taking advantage of them. This is rape. This is, like, I'm telling you, you know, sometimes they'll get them hooked on drugs. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes a pimp just has to snap his fingers, and this girl will do whatever he wants her to do because she's looking for daddy. She's looking for daddy. So it really depends upon who you are and how you look at this. But I personally don't think R. Kelly's a predator. I feel that he has a voracious appetite. He has a certain type. Somebody in my chat it just is... said, to be honest, I see where they're coming from. It's like, well, then you, you're, you're just as worthless. Do you ever, if you ever identify with this person, 
like you should really reconsider your life again like to a lot of people you should just be happy that i have to censor my language because i i mean like this is uh, the things that i want to say to you people is like a lot wor like is worse than what i'm allowed to say on this fucking platform this is insane illegal is underage and he allowed that appetite to literally ruin his life because i guarantee you r kelly knows who's after him and once he should once he figured out that someone was after him he should have Hit the chill pill, but he did. He kept going, he kept going, he kept going, and they kept after him, and they kept after him, and now he's going to jail. So I could have been a predator. Same energy. Same you appetite. are a predator. You are a predator. Appetite is just like, it's just the synonymous with the word pedophile the way that you're using it. Except I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. You're certainly somebody. That's why I was able to do this stuff and get away with it, because I'm a nobody. But if I was an R. Kelly or this, this billionaire dude, or if I was someone like that, you best believe they would have been on my ass. Uh -huh. How dare you be rich, famous, handsome, and be fucking young pussy? How dare you? Dude, how did you, where, where's the confidence coming from? Yeah, how dare you be somebody in a position of power taking advantage of people? How dare you do oh what God. I want to do, but I can't do because I'm not in your position? How dare you? What the fuck? Dude, that, what did he just say? You. Do what I want to do, but I can't do because I'm not in your position. Do you do you think that we want to fuck children? Like, is, do you think that everybody in the like the world in the United States wants to fuck children? Nobody is going after dude, this whole narrative. Is that the only reason R. Kelly got caught is because people were jealous of R. Kelly and wanted him to get arrested because they wanted to fuck young girls. But since they're not allowed to because they don't have the ability to do it properly, they they're just jealous. This is fucking insane, dude. This guy is just... He thinks everybody wants to fuck kids. This is insane, bro. This is like the... This is the worst predator I have ever seen on social media. This is this is worse than any other predator we've seen. Even EDP 445. Like, this guy is a fucking sexual predator. This guy is a worthless person. How dare you? So, guys, I'm getting ready to do some more training. Um, I'm getting ready to be more active on this channel, so be looking out for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this expose. Shout out to Rom Wills. Shout out to Alan Roger Curry. Those dudes know me very well. If they know you very well, they're also predators. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. Okay, it's great. Great video. Really enjoyed that so very much. So if you go to this guy's channel here, Lost King, let's see what we got here. Okay, well, there's nothing listed here, but like we said, um... Where did I put it? I just want to make sure. You know, no, I want to make sure we go even further back. Further back. Um, what was this, guys? I want to make sure that we just, again, make sure we know. Um, exactly who this guy is, right? So we definitely just need to make sure that we know that this guy. Okay, so this is this is his other. This is his main channel, right? This is the corporate citizen, okay? Now, this is all publicly available information that you can find yourself very, very easily. All you have to do is look up the corporate citizen, right? And then you go to his about. You could view his email address if you wanted to. That's totally fine. GlendonMacDaddyMedia.com the United States. Then he has a thing called BS for Hunters, BS B School for Hustlers, whatever. And his Instagram link there. And in his Instagram, he has a link tree uh, that goes to the ridiculous channel we just watched, where he admitted he that he rapes children, um, as well as the corporate citizen. This is confirmed by him to be him. All of this is public information. We have his Instagram here where 28,000 people follow him. His name is Glendon Cameron. A um, bunch of other bullshit here. You could scroll down, Glendon Cameron. Uh, he definitely lives in Georgia. I don't, like, I'm assuming that this is something that's associated with him, Mac Daddy Auto Sales. This is the address that he puts on his own fucking uh, account. A bunch of other business letters and shit that he puts on his own account. Uh, this is his, these are his fucking license plates from Georgia. 
Um, I don't know what the fuck this is. This looks like an email. I don't know what he does with that email. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Glennon Cameron, Stone Mountain, Main Street Treasures. It looks like another business that he's running. He's got some kind of fucking like, credit card information with like his available balance, with his name, his the his I'm mean, his. I don't know how this works. His address, maybe it's the Chase Bank's address. I don't really know specifically. Here's some other information um, that's probably relevant to know. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of information on his... This is his public information that he has made public. Here we go. All queries, you can go to Deanna at savagefinance.org. Or com, it's org, yeah. He's got plenty of information on his Instagram page, linked to his Instagram page, about his specific shit. Bunch of chase fucking things. So, you know... This is just interesting. You don't, they don't, they obviously don't do anything with this information. There's nothing to do with any of this information, right? None of this information should be reported to like the police. This video shouldn't be downloaded and reported. Nothing, none of that should happen, obviously, because like that's not what we're doing here. We're just showing you that he has such a nice Instagram with all these different pictures that are very easily identify who he is as a person. And we also have a video of him admitting that he rapes children. Um, and yeah, that he's a child predator. So. You know, nice Instagram, Savage Finance. Nice Instagram. I wonder if his followers know what the fuck he's doing. This is fucking insane. This is fucking insane, bro. He's defending himself in the comments. What the fuck? What do you mean he's defending himself in the comments? How the fuck could this be? Is he? Dude, this guy's fucking insane. 